It's Chatty Dad One coming at you today. I want to talk to you today about the world's greatest deception. This deception has been carried and continued on for over a hundred years. It's been perpetrated by rich, powerful men who want nothing but control and power, greed, and things like that. They don't care about governments. They don't care about countries, about people. And the deception that I'm talking about is the deception that the United States of America is a government. Well, I'm sorry, but it's not a government. In 1871, our government became the government of British Columbia. And I'm going to show you that here. Executive Office of the President. What's an executive? You know what an executive is. It's a business manager. He's the executive, top executive in a business, in a corporation. This is on FedBizOps.gov. District of Columbia Government Opportunities. Why would that be there if it wasn't true that the District of Columbia is not the federal government? I used to not understand why during the Civil War the South called the North Federals because they knew that they were Federals. A federation, federally incorporated. And this is how our this is how our republic has become a democracy. But it was never intended to be. The District of Columbia government is ten miles. They have no authority outside of the District of Columbia government. But they have deceived every state, every one, into thinking they do. Now I want you to look at this here. Export-Import Bank of the United States. The United States is the corporation. The Federal Reserve. Why is that on FedBizOps? The Federal Reserve is another privately owned corporation. All of these agencies are. This is the flag of the District of Columbia government. Washington, D.C. This is the flag that no one knows about, no one sees. But this is the true flag of our government. I'm sorry, of our corporation. You see that? DC.gov? District of Columbia government. Why else would it not be said here? All these departments are departments of this government. Matter of fact, on FedBizOps, this is one of the only things that says anything about a government. The United States government is not on here. Executive Office of the President. Yeah, he's an executive, all right. Now, there's a lot of things involved with this, and I, and I suggest you do your due diligence and study about all these things how we've come under tyranny and been oppressed, how our rights have been taken. 
how we've been turned into commodities to borrow and loan money for and against. They used to record births in a family Bible. And that was good enough. Now, you can look on your birth certificate, and it's usually owned by a bank. Has the rights to the original birth certificate. I'm not kidding you. Look this up. Check into this. This is the greatest, the greatest deception that ever was. The greatest deception that ever was. And every one of us has been suckered into it. Every one of us have, has lived it. Has thought we was, uh, you know, part of this great country. Which, the country is great as far as the people go. But the government is not the United States of America government. The government is the United States District of Columbia Incorporated. I I'm sorry. The government is the District of Columbia government, which has a business called the United States in all capital letters. All capital letters. There's reasons for this. Because a corporation can get away with things that a government can't. Corporations can do things that governments can't. A corporation is run by a board of executives like Congress and the Senate with a CEO like the President the Vice President you really need to look and read this right here because this is where it all came from the problem came back in 1871. Our country was torn up by the Civil War. We were in deep financial trouble. We owed a lot of money to the big banks, the Rothschilds, the, you know, some of these other wealthy families. And we ended up having to turn the District of Columbia into our country and form the United States as a corporation so that we could have the money we needed to carry on Well, they were going to try to do away with it and abolish it, but it's never happened. That's why you hear about these sovereigns. People that want to be sovereign and, and don't have no, you know, don't have to pay taxes and stuff. Why do you think that they don't teach things in school, in the public school? about all this stuff. I mean, this is for real. This is for real. This is no joke. That's why we have FEMA, which is another corporation under the umbrella of the main mother corporation 
the United States under control of the government of the District of Columbia. If you don't believe me, ask Adam Kokesh. Okay? Ask people that have tried to stand up against these guys. They lose. They lose. But if you would please, please learn about this. Read this. I'll put the links below. But check into this. Because this cannot change as long as people believe that we are a democracy or that we are a republic. Because we're not. We're a corporation. We as Americans are Americans. We never agreed to this. We never accepted this. I don't accept this. But this is how it is right now. That's why a lawyer has the entitlement as Esquire. Esquire is a title of nobility given down from the British crown. Now why would we have lawyers that, are, that have the entitlement as Esquire? Tell me that. Why? Now there's a lot of people that have done a lot of work on these, this same thing here. But I'm going to do my own and try to let as many people know to please check into the government of the District of Columbia because it is Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is not our capital. It is our government. Why else would it not say this? Why do they have their own flag? I'm telling you people, please look into this. Because the time for the deception needs to be over with. It's time we open our eyes and learn the truth. The United States is not a country. It is a federal corporation. Look it up. This is Chatty Dad 1. I hope everybody has a great day. Please look into this. Learn about this. And let's see what we can do about getting our country back and doing away with this act of 1871 that turned our country, our great country, changed one word in the Constitution that changed it all. Get our country back. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless. God help us all. Never give up your guns. They continue to let us think that we have certain rights to continue this deception. And they'll continue to do so. But believe me, they can come and get them anytime they want. All they got to do is come and do it. Prepare your best and hold on to what you got. And do, do right by others and by yourself. This is Chatty Dad 1. Over and out.